Welcome on back. Welcome back to the Crimson Court. Let's decide what to do, shall we? Two decisions that I think I've already made here are to leave the flagellant afflicted. I don't think I'm going to spend the money to recover from the, for them. I'm pretty sure I'm even better off leaving them rapturous. So that's that's my approach here. However, I probably need to commit Milis. I'm going to need that Jester, I think. The Jester is going to be one of the more valuable members of the party, in fact. So let's go ahead. You know, I think they actually may have adjusted the costs on these ones as well, though. I might just be accounting for the fact that I haven't upgraded the tavern at all. Three months in a row from Soap and Bear! Come back to the pile, buddy. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. There we go. Now, I haven't seen our character yet, Sunshine. The, uh... Or the, the characters I provided uh, VO for. To the bear pile. Not quite yet. Hopefully soon, though. If they're gaming, welcome to the bear pile as well. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. What are our options today? Miss Camp Road, welcome. Niels is about to munch on a whore. That is grotesque, but maybe accurate, yes. I don't know if he's gonna munch on him. He may have- oh, well, yeah, he's, he's got the proclivity to do so, doesn't he? Yeah, I just- I, I forgot about the whole Crimson Curse thing, yeah. That's what's going on. You weren't just being lewd for the sake of being lewd. That's how I interpreted that, that, that at first. Lethal traction with three months in a row on Twitch Prime as well. Thank you very much. Could do a short cove mission, maybe. We're obviously looking to make some progress toward getting this Baron fight to become a possibility. Task for eating with two months as well. Thank you, buddy. The Baron is going to be the next target, but I got to prep for it. So, we could go to this medium length Warrens. Might not be a bad idea. Let's have a look at our levels here and see who could be a uh, suitable accomplice for this. We're going to need a Vestal. The fighting chick still has rabies, so I don't know if she's necessarily the greatest idea right now. John Rebel is rocking a little bit of extra stress, though, so I gotta be concerned about that. She's got Wheeled Adventurer as well, so I may want to go here instead. Although, ah, never mind. That's, that's veteran level. Never mind. What's new in this DLC bear? Tons of stuff. Tons and tons and tons of stuff. You got new, new bosses, new hero class, the Flagellant. Which is fantastic, and I'm probably going to go ahead and bring one out again, actually, because I've just been loving using these guys. In fact, let's have Arsiac go ahead and level up a little bit more, shall we? And then how about we go ahead and throw a Highwayman up there, too, and we can get some rank 3 guys, maybe, at some point here. Which means I don't necessarily need to throw a Vestal into spot 3. Here in the Warrens, I might be better off with something like... Well, what could I do here? I could do a Grave Robber and then, like, an Arbalist in the back, but that's a little... A little too much stress, I think, in that team. All of the rabies. All of the rabies. I will tear the blood from the big men. Ugh, I want to throw in a cultist in there, maybe, but that's eh, probably not a good idea. Ribeiro Pedro, hey, I do remember your name, actually. Welcome back. Good to see you again. What if I were to do, like, a pseudo-mark party? Like a, a, a lower degree mark party, we could get ourselves these... These three with the small bonuses on the pistol shot, the throne knife, and then obviously the uh, sniper shot is going to benefit from that. Madness in my veins! Hard noggin on you. Uh, Welcome to the uh, bear pile. A1 base! Welcome to the bear pile, A1 base. Thanks for the sub, buddy. Appreciate it. Welcome on in. Thank you, thank you very much. Oh, we did get Dismas's head as well. I forgot about that. Let's go ahead and give him this one. And uh, melee skills probably be better suited for the Flagellant. I think a health stone would be nice. We don't really have anybody that's a tank at all in this team. So I don't think the health stone is actually going to be all that great, unfortunately. Hey, Dirtmu, welcome, buddy. Uh, Blight skill chance might actually be kind of useful. The bleed skill chance on my Flagellant is certainly a good option. Bleed resist on him, too, which is kind of okay. Hey, Katrina. And then, uh, I mean, really, really not much else, is there? Health stone is really tempting, but I don't think I'm going to do it. To the bear it's a Morticon. Welcome to the bear pile as well. Twitch Prime, thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to the pile. I appreciate the, the early subs here, guys. It means a lot. We're up over... If you can believe it... I'm not going to dwell too much on this stuff, but if you can believe it, we are up above 600 now. 
where I was just celebrating 500 like last week. 600 subs on Twitch. It's just totally ridiculous, so thank you. Thank you very much for all that support. That really does mean a lot to me. I really appreciate it. Hell yeah, Barunin. It is, it is easily worth the purchase price, I can tell you that much. So, is there anything else I want to do here? I don't think I want to commit anyone else. Still not really actually sure how to get rid of the Crimson Curse either. I'm assuming I'll find out at some point, but I'm just going to leave Nephis here for now. Whatever that ends up doing, we'll find out. Big Bear McTaff, yeah, dog. Mm-hmm. All right, then. I suppose this is happening. Medium length cleanse. Check the red on the left, please. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh! Oh, I didn't even notice this! Curse-carrying insects have begun to spread over the estate. The infestation is low. Does it? I guess it keeps the same rank across all the different areas. I was wondering if it was going to change based on where we were. That's kind of interesting, though. Yeah, cool, okay. Thanks for pointing that out. Good luck. Alright, anything else we need to do? I could unlock his ambush prevention. Oh, he's got his ambush prevention. Wonderful. Well, let's make sure he does have the point blank of the duels. He does indeed. I could upgrade our armor and weapons on this guy. And also a little bit of the guild in here, too, might be worth checking out. Let's go ahead and sort by our team as well, just to make sure we got all the right people. And I'm gonna go ahead and lower the... or, uh, improve this to get a lowered bleed... or... Er, I want the bleed resist to be better. That's what I'm trying to say right there. And then this actually is improved a little bit, and I might even use it every now and then in this place. I'm not 100% sure how effective that's gonna be, but I'll try it out, maybe. Yeah, Mitt Layer, I'm, I'm glad uh, the EU folks could get some love here, too. I'm happy to, uh, oblige their requests due to my inability to do so for very a very, very long time. Gray now! 17 months in a row. There's also those red things on the right in the stress relief buildings in the sanitarium. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about, actually. Hold on, if we go over here... Current contagion level in the facility as well. Interesting. There's none in here, even though we do have Milis committed to this place. I wonder if... Ooh, I wonder if because we committed him to this place, the contagion level will rise. Ooh, snap. Go to the districts tab. Yeah, I can go to the districts tab real quick. Sure, here you go. We're still pretty far away from actually being able to do anything with this. As you can see, the costs to upgrade anything in here are pretty damn high. Uh, you also need a blueprint, which we currently have one of. And I'm not sure whether it actually shows you... The oh, there you go. Yeah, you can see we have one blueprint right up there. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're a little a little ways out yet from actually being able to take advantage of that at all. Alright, let's do this. Watch me on TV. Hell yeah, yo-yo. Glad to hear it, Doradus. Thank you for that Bear Brown, the badge of honor. Appreciate that, pal. Let's do a couple of each of these. We'll bring some herbs, and then we need to some extra torches, of course, the, for the Warrens. Robo-jab! Four months in a row in the pile. Thank you, buddy. I need the blood, of course, this time as well. We'll bring all that amount of torches. I think those shovels will probably be good, and then that'll do it. All right, then. Relying entirely here on the uh, frontline flagellant heels. And I believe that uh, we've got both of his lower health quickly, skills equipped. In the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Yeah, we've got Exsanguinate and Redeem, which are both fucking ridiculously good. So hopefully we can take advantage today. Let's find out. Wow, oh, hey, well, you know what? Ambushed by foul invention. That's actually not too bad. <laughs> the thing about this... For a task well performed. I mean, clearly we're, we're keeping the flagellant rapturous to take advantage of the natural stat buffs that brings, but it also does present the issue of having to manage this guy's stress well, so he doesn't have a heart attack. Measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. See, that's not what we need right there. There, we need him to be taking all the traps, please. So yeah, that stress is... It's interesting. I think we'll be able to handle it, though. Secrets! Secrets! 
Wait, how do you have so much blood? I'm on week 10 and got about three total. Is this an abnormal amount? I used a hell of a lot when I first got it, too. I actually had probably like two full stacks of it, and now we've got... We've got one blood left in town, right? You telling me that leads me to believe that maybe I should try not to spend as much blood as I have been, because I've been pretty, uh... I've been pretty frivolous with it. Welcome to the bear pile. Slucking Fut! Great name. High quality name. Don't hurt anyone. Oh! 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 Good! Well done! Good shot. Let's hit him with this. Yeah, that'll work, and then maybe be able to kill you two. We did just get a surprise attack. I should probably have taken more advantage of that, but, uh... Yeah, try for the crit. Okay. He's probably more threatening. I don't think I need to worry too much about the apprentice level blanket fire. Although spread out damage is a uh it's a cause for alarm with this composition. We're not really gonna be healing all that much. Dodges are obviously welcome, thank you. They reduce the amount of blood you can find. Oh, there's a fix to the to lower the drop rate. Oh shit, okay. I see. So I was, uh, I was a bit fortunate that I was able to get so much early on then, wasn't I? Good for me. It's the benefit I reap from being Great is the weapon up and at him on day on one, own. right? Ah, shit. Hell yeah, Reaper sounds good, buddy. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. I should probably try to like... Oh, nice. I should probably try to use his smaller heal to reclaim. Not only... As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Not only for those small heals that I could certainly benefit from, but also to empower him further. It's only just now occurring to me that this bleed he inflicts on, him, on himself is Welcome very useful. To the bear pile. Angry Bun 21. Another fun one. Welcome to the bear pile as well, buddy. Thank you very much for the subscription. Appreciate it. Day six. As we traveled from the hamlet, an eerie dread grew. We all felt it, but did our best to shrug it off. Sleep was difficult until Raven, one of my companions, passed me a bitter concoction. The most devout of us, Therion, prayed softly for our safety. Superstitious, but well-intentioned, I suppose. I am already falling asleep. Left for final. Welcome to the bear pile as well. Thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Appreciate that. Dragon Max, welcome. How you doing? Blood is so rare now, I can't find it for wasting vampires in my estate. They eventually die, but on Blood Moon difficulty, you only get like 14 deaths. Ah, yeah, geez. That's... That sounds rough. Sounds pretty rough, man. I should kill you first. Before I begin to, uh... Oh, yeah, Battle Bandage plus Reclaim is good. Oh, yeah, you know what? Hell yeah, dude. Absolutely. That's gonna work out pretty fucking well, I think, huh? Let's try to kill you. There we go. She's done. Get the repost up as well, and then we'll probably gonna try to get a couple heals going, too. So let me hit the, uh... Let me hit the Highwayman with this... Or no, not the Highwayman. Let's go ahead and let her take the Battlefield Bandage. I could also Bola. Or maybe even get a kill right here. Let's try for the kill. There we go. That's pretty good. Richie, yeah, a little early. Welcome, Reaper. Beautiful. All right, let's take a couple of heals this time. Let's go ahead and do a reclaim on you. Since you can't actually heal yourself. Uh, you can try to kill him, I guess. All right. Literated. Oh, yeah, and you know what? We probably should go ahead and do those heals early, too. Oh, wait a minute. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Yo, that ticks outside of battle? That's wonderful! I didn't even think about that. Yay! That's cool! Ah, oh, that's a negative quirk. Damn it. How did I not even think that would happen? Hey, this is like an anti-bleed, exactly. Okay, so he's getting pretty low. Still got that bleed, too, which is actually going to kill him, so tell you what, we should probably go ahead and exsanguinate. This is a pretty good opportunity. Doesn't actually have to heal anyone else, either, so yeah, this works out pretty well. Boom. Big ol' bleed and a big ol' heal. He can heal himself again, actually. Holy shit. 
Holy shit, man. This flagellant is fucking awesome. This changes everything! Hello, Dudoc, welcome. Could I maybe kill him? Maybe. Bane of your existence. Nothing quite like eating spaghetti and watching bears. Sounds like a combo, man. Thank you. Well struck. Thank you for the bits. If I had sniped him, I probably could have gotten the kill. That might have been the better idea. He bleeds anyone? Oh, you know, I could use Suffer if I had it. I'm getting to wonder really just what, like, the best set of four skills is going to be on him. I can't decide. I also probably need to go ahead and heal up the, uh... Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. The front two right now. Maybe even go ahead and throw on a ba battlefield bandage on someone, but I could also Bola right now and kill him. No, no, wait, he's dead. Yeah, let's do that. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Arsiak is a new character. The, the new character class is the Flagellant. And it is very, very good. Oh, don't pass. Don't do anything stupid. Come on. That's okay. Can be healed, but never hidden. That's acceptable. Reeve, love you too. Hey, Axial. Good to have you guys welcome back. Welcome. To the bear pile. Gary, welcome to the bear pile as well. With the Twitch Prime subscription. Is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Come on in, buddy. Thank you very much for the sub. And do this advance, right? Yep. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. All right. Hey, some blood. Speaking of there being a decreased drop rate. Fortune smokes at least. Man, that's a nice buff too. All right. All right. If a cursed character drinks a holy water, you guys. Yeah, I think I already did that, didn't I? Pretty sure I gave one of my cursed characters a holy water. Mm-hmm. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Ignoramus! So jazzed about the Crimson Court finally being out. I am too, man. I have been. I haven't been this excited about a release in some time, man. I have been watching every trailer. Reading Drunk every article. Gold, trinkets and baubles. Uh, paid for in blood. I guess we get rid of this. I don't even know if I read those journal pages, but we definitely don't need to keep them. Hey! God damn it! You fucking idiot. Curious arbalist. Rip. I totally would have done that one, too. Uh, try it again. Couldn't go bad twice, right? Okay, that works. Watch your step. No, I haven't seen my VO stuff yet. Okay, okay. Doesn't really have to be mentioned, Geronimo. I've already mentioned it plenty of times. You're not really enlightening me at all. I know damn well, dude. I hear it, too. I also read my comments. If you can believe it. Ah, uh, yeah, let's keep healing. Alright, that stress is becoming a big problem now. I, I think I might need to, uh... Back to the pit. Well, actually, I don't really have any recourse for that, too. I could camp out and try to reduce it that way, but there's only... only so much that can be done there, too. Death by inches. Oh boy. It's getting pretty low. Let's see. I should probably kill the one that's weak already just so they don't get another combo off. And then. Be gone, fiend. I imagine I'll be able to get a big heal. Let's try. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. <laughs> Run! <laughs> don't, don't let the spiders get you, bear. Oh, come on, please. Another one falls. Well, that is what I wanted to do. Okay, thanks for doing that. Appreciate it. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. We do have slots in our trinket space, so how about we go ahead and throw a debuff charm on you too? Hey, we did it! Look at us go! Alright. Well done, team, and we don't have any keys, do we? Nope. Oh well. Hey Hunter, welcome. 
All right. Uh, get rid of that. Good. We do have a secret room still, obviously. Even though we don't have a key for it, I still want to go check this out. And maybe we'll get lucky and find one on the way there. Beep and boops, welcome. Holding out hope. Oh, that's a really nasty shuffle. Jeez. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, I gotta move him forward, don't I? Let's do it. I, did, I just noticed, too, the options he has for moving forward and backward. I think that's pretty great. Naturally, he'd be able to move forward the entire way to put himself in harm's way as much as possible. So, Duelist Advance works pretty well here, too. I might even get the kill on this guy. Not quite. Dad, you don't have to repeat yourself 40 times, buddy. I heard you. I don't want to be spoiled on that stuff, either. Let me figure it out on my own, thanks. I didn't bring any keys, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I forgot the keys this time. I might have only brought, like, one or two and just used them really quickly. Ooh, I'm starting to wonder if maybe I wanted to keep the, uh, the Endure on, or the Suffer, whatever the one is that... Tr oh, shit. The blood! I must have the blood! There's an extra for you, buddy. I am the Fury. Suffer. Suffer is the one I'm thinking of. The Suffer is the one that transfers the bleed. Which would be nice. I don't have to heal anyone, so I think it's Exsanguinate time again. I'd love to kill you, but... Eh. I don't think so, not yet, Robin. Yeah, no deaths yet, either. We're, we're operating pretty smooth so far, I'd say. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Mm-hmm. Lord dead. Welcome back for four months in a row, buddy. Thank you. Welcome on in back to the pal. Bandages? Probably not necessary. I mean, I'm not going to be fighting the Shambler, obviously, but... Might be nice to... Stay healed up. I also might be able to crit him to kill. Or deal minimum damage, sure. It's not yet been revealed, Gray. It's a secret. It's a secret. Yeah, I agree, Bum Amazingly. The new character is fucking fantastic. It's a lot of fun. Lots and lots of fun. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Video gamer, thanks for coming. Appreciate it. This expedition at least promises success. Okie dokie. Got a slot right there for Welcome a key. To the bear pile. If the game sees fit to provide me with one, I'd appreciate it. Lord Echo! Fitting name for the effect. Lord Echo! Must the burden weigh on my mind as well as my body? Welcome to the bear pile, buddy. Thank you very much. One shot! Yes! Nailed it. I'm gonna point blank this one, which means throwing daggers back here. Okay, come on, sniper shot. Sniper shot for nine. Sniper shot for nine, yes! Eradicated. Beautiful. Every single one. Destroyed. Flawless. Flawless. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Good heirlooms as well, yeah, this is working out, it's working out. Yeah, 917, well, what's the difference, right? Eight. Eight is the difference. Good math, Bear. Thank you. All right, all right. Soothed. Sedated. Still plenty of food, too. Looking good here. The torch is all sorted out. I think I'm going to get a full clear, baby. But we are going to go through here. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, my stress is pretty high. Mm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. A momentary abatement. Yeah, it sure is, Wayne. How about we go ahead and camp first? We gotta camp first, man. We gotta camp out and get those buffs, and then we'll go fight it. Go back. Go back. There we go. I could have camped in the secret room as well, actually. That might have even been a better play. Okay. Um, well, we should do the secret room first as well, though we might get a key from it, but that would be... Uh, I think that's maybe a little too risky. Gotta go ahead and reduce some stress, though. It's a goal without hope. There's our full heal. I don't know if I need to necessarily prevent the ambush. I should probably do Lash's Solace just to make sure he's not gonna have a heart attack, because that would be pretty fucking terrible. 
Uh, I'm not really looking at a lot of other buffs, unfortunately. I think clean guns is gonna have to be the one we go for here. Let's go to the treasure room and leave. Never. He didn't take it. Ah, god damn you. That would have been so helpful. I'm gonna have to go gallows humor. He also didn't take that. Yeah. Yep. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, I mean, we can try this. He did take that. That's... Yeah, I like that the flagellant sits away from the campfire, too. I think that's cool. Um... It's not very good. Don't have a lot of buffs. Ah, we got an ambush, too. Jesus. Oh, no! Oh, the humanity! Oh, the horror! Annihilated. It's terrifying! What will we do? Does the madness never end? This is it for us, chat. In radiance, may we find victory. Thank God. Thank God. Oh. Okay, I should do this first, right? But I can't just do it if I fail and leave. Hold on. Hold on. Let's swap the highwayman to the back. We'll do that. And then that should set us up pretty well regardless of what the shuffle does. I think. Yeah. That'll probably be for the best. Okay, let's do that. Secrets and wonders can be found oh. in the tenebrous corners of this place. Oh, that was terrible. Terrible, terrible shuffle, man. Shit. Oh, well. All right. So he does not have that much blight resistance. Might not be a bad idea. Okay. Lowered it as well. So that's going to set us up okay. I think I'll duelist and then hopefully benefit from the repose damage quite a bit. And then we obviously have to move her back, unfortunately. I'm gonna try to mark him as well with the sniper, or with the arbalist if I can. All right, let's do it. Punish is probably best for targeting the sycophant, although he doesn't have the greatest bleed resistance either. I could certainly try to do it on him. Plus the boosted bleed chance with the amulet. But I'm probably better off Another abomination cleansed from our land. just letting the three who uh, benefit from the mark actually deal the damage straight to this guy. Plus, I can maybe get repose damage on those things, too. Uh, no anti-venom, sadly. I think I'll tracking shot to set up for the bigger damage from the mark. And obviously stack up the poison darts if I can. Hey, Theon Storm, welcome. All right, at least we got the blight. Didn't lower the resistance, unfortunately, though. Let's go ahead and do that. I'd love to reduce protection, but the mark is still good. He doesn't have any dodge, so it wouldn't have mattered, really. Okay. Stack the blight on the highway, man. That sucks. That really sucks. That's stress on our flagellant, too. I gotta be wary of that. Wary. Not weary. Oh, boy. I will taste you and nothing will stop me. What what does that mean? Ah no. God damn it. I'm gonna give him the blood. Oh, he's gonna have a heart attack. What am I doing? Oh no, horrible mistake. Executed with impunity. I didn't think about it. Oh god. Oh, no. Uh. Okay, at least got the blight still. There's way too much good damage coming from there, man. I don't know. Masterfully executed. Good crit. I wanted to get the repose back up, and now we can benefit from this. 23% chance to crit. Nice. All right. Oh, this is scary. Nice. Holy shit. Big time crits. 
Come on, Flagellin. Let's do it, buddy. Death oh, no. For the slightest lapse in concentration. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh shit, okay, Death's Door. Keep in mind, Death's Door is actually a buff here on the Flagellant. I think this is the first time we're seeing it. We have ourselves a hell of a Flagellant right now. Rapturous, Crimson Curse, and he's on Death's Door. This guy, look at these buffs! Oh my god! That's insane! It's 18 speed. Wow. Wow. Oh, God. Um, so I can kill him. And obviously heal myself, take myself off death's door. That's almost certainly the best play, right? There it is. Oh, God. She is going to fucking die. Let's just at least try this. And, uh, kill it! That'll work. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. And how about the battlefield bandage on him? Does that even make a difference? It might not. I'm probably better off. Oh, he's, she's only dealing one to three damage to this fucking thing. Look at the protection on this guy. That's insane. Oh, no. Well, you know what? That's probably still the best play anyway. Oh, nice. Singular strike. That's helpful. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Crunchy and milk. Come on, buddy. You can do this. 30% chance to crit. Crit for five. Oh, God. Come on. A victory. No. Perhaps the turn. Don't kill him. Don't kill either of them. Teetering on the brink. Come on. Facing the abyss. Come on. Come on. Yes. That's a heal! That'll keep him up! And I can point blank. Or I can bola. It's done. Oh, wow. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. There we go. There we go, boys. Oh, the fucking secret room! Ah, I knew I would forget it! Confidence is shaken. I just, I... As soon as I was done, I was like, get the fuck out of here. Click the button, leave. <laughs> I did not want to do it. Ah, Jesus Christ. I haven't done it. No, I have. I have and haven't done it simultaneously. Epic win followed immediately by an epic fail. Classic. Bloody, exhausted, and covered in our own sick. <laughs> oh, good God. That flagellant carry, though, seriously. A ray of sunlight. A beacon of golden hope. He has partially done it. <laughs> Bloodlust, Death's Door, flagellant. Right, like, fuck, dude. It was so good. Like, that's a situation where I should not feel overpowered, but yet, it was... It was as though I was in a better position at that point. The blood makes me whole! Milas has resisted his cravings. He's feeling a lot better now. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Redbeard994. Welcome to the Bear Pile, buddy, and thank you, Hogel Jaeger, for the 100 bits as well. Have some bits as solace for the secret room. Well done. Thanks for helping me feel better about it, buddy. Charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. Oh, goodness. Well, Crunchy and Milk obviously need some help. We'll fix him up. I rules 33, also in need of some love, and we'll go to the gambling hall with her. Nephus, I almost want to get fixed as well, but... Actually, Lowell's poop face may be a higher priority. Every time I get to say his name in a serious timbre, I, I smile a little bit. Lowell's poop face needs to be on guard. We'll, we'll put Lowell's poop face at the stand. DK Guillotine, welcome, buddy. That's a bright tambourine, I know, yeah, that is quite good. Quite good, but not quite good enough to spend 15,000 gold on it at the moment, I don't think. 
I need to be looking at the uh, possibility here of upgrading both the blacksmith and the guild a little further. We've gotten 146 fucking crests somehow. I have no idea when that happened. But maybe, uh... Mongo Bungle, almost a year! Yeah! Yep! Almost! Mongo Bungle, thanks buddy for 21 months. I almost want to make a trade here, in fact. What if we were to do something like bam, 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 bam? Like 27 crests, get rank 3 armor or rank 3 weapons, we've got a few level 2s, but we may not be able to take immediate advantage of those. Take a look at your blueprints, maybe you can get- Oh yeah, you know, it might be worth it to do this too. I think we've only got one option right now, that's the performance hall. Which is probably not worth it. The first one I think I'd want to consider here in the districts... Might actually be Sanguine... Sanguine Vintners. Jesus, these words. Because apparently with the l lowered uh, drop rate of the blood, that'll be pretty useful. This is pretty damn good as well, actually. What if we saved the crest and bought the puppet theater? Yeah, this is pretty good, isn't it? Hey, dork fellow. Thanks, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate it. Could you afford it immediately if you traded some artifacts? The puppet theater? Oh, yeah. I probably could afford the puppet theater, huh? I need 54 crests. How quickly could I get that? I could get that right now. Ah, interesting. The bank first. Do you think the bank first? Interest gained on saved gold 5% per week. That's pretty damn good too, but portraits are going to be a lot more difficult to accrue than the uh, than the crests will be. In fact, the crests are pretty close already. I'm not really using the busts for much either. It's mostly the portraits and the deeds I'm worried about early on. And the stress has been a problem. This could be huge. Not worth it if it's not Sock Puppet Theater. <laughs> the bank is good. The cartographer camp is underwhelming. The cartog cartographer camp. Torchlight is more beneficial. I imagine that changes them from like 25 to 33 torchlight per torch or something. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, this seems like a pretty good idea. Let's do it. 54 crests from the bus. I think we can do 36, right? Yeah, let's do that. I like it. Need to use this... Uh, I need to use this blueprint anyway. I don't want to let it let it sit around for nothing. Construct the puppet theater. From rubble to rabble. That's a great achievement name. Ignoramus, who needs crests? Just dangle the dead adventurers for puppets. Smart move. Cool, all right, we will get the puppet theater up. Does that make a change in the uh, actual estate, I wonder? At home in wild places. She is a stalwart survivor, and a strict instructor. Eh, probably not. Gur King, good evening. No, not quite yet, Sneel. Or Snee? Snee? I got it. I don't know. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> now the Chesters actually have something to do. Nice. Swine Prince has become available. Can put together a mark party to deal with that if I felt so inclined. Okay. No longer in Radiant mode, I can no longer enjoy the benefits of level 3 folks going up in the Apprentice Dungeons. How is our stress looking at the moment? We have a, quite a few folks not feeling too, too sharp. Let's look at this. I think I want to get some sort of marked party put together. I might need to upgrade my stagecoach soon, too. Get more space in the roster here. That's going to cost us... Ah, uh, those are some... Those are some useful, useful things, man. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we got a Demon's Cauldron from that, too. Which is actually, you know what? Thinking about the Rank 2 Occultist a little more, the Demon's Cauldron is fucking incredible on him now. Now that we have Weird Reconstruction available at Rank 2, Rank 2 Occultist is totally viable. Paralyzer's Crest, Critical Dice. What do we have in here? The Warrens. We got the Book of Rage, which is kind of nice. Bumper Crop is always a good uh, town event as well. Tips versus the Croc. How did we handle the Croc? Just get a Flagellant. There's the tip for you. Just get a Flagellant and let the Flagellant carry you to victory against everything. That's all you really need to do. And just keep him, keep him afflicted too. Don't worry about it. Just no matter what, even if things look dire, just keep using him because I tr trust me, it's it's gonna work. It's totally gonna work. I beat it by doing damage over time. 
what did I do? Was it like... I can't remember, actually. I've been so awash with Darkest Dungeon. I've actually been watching a few other people play it as well. It's been really popular on Twitch lately. I'm really happy about it. Oh, goodness. What should I even do here? It might be worth it to go in here just to get the Book of Rage. Oh, God, on the flagellant! Put this on the- you're right! Put this on the fucking flagellant, it's so good! We have to get this! God damn, man, he just gets better. All right, so in that case, let's go, let's take a flag. <laughs> let's do it. No reason not to. I mean, makes perfect sense. And uh, we could bleed the shit out of stuff if we wanted to maybe take Melis. Ooh, I could use Caltrips for once. Although I, oh, I have to use that in spot. Oh, you know what we could do? Y'all want to be crazy? Do like a spot three bounty hunter? What if we swap these two? Then we could have a solo finale jester. But that takes away the bleed though, so that's not really as good. Oh, we could also do that and have the flagellant in the front spot. That's good too. DK guillotine. There's no building for the leper sad face. There's not? I thought there was one. I thought he was included in one of these ones over here. It's antiquarian occult display, Dr. Jester, Arbalist. I don't know. Yeah, you're right about that, huh? That's weird. Interesting. Spot 3 Bounty Hunter is pretty good. I've seen that done a couple of times. That'll probably work out okay. I might even just throw an Arbalist on this party, even though it doesn't really make a ton of sense. I could go Antiquarian, too. It's not a bad opportunity for an Antiquarian. Antiquarian Flagellant is obviously always nice. He's a leper. That is true, yeah. Leper benefits from the outside bonfire. Ah, yeah, look at that. Two additional respite points if you have at least one Abomination, Hellion, or Leper in your party. That's actually pretty good. That's a neat building. I like that. I didn't even really pay attention to that one. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Antiques Roadshow time. Now we're going to make some extra money for sure, though, this time. This is a decent build. Decent team. We've got a good amount of healing. Got a good amount of uh, stress relief, of course. I like it. So... First of all, Bleed Amulet on any of them is going to be nice. I think Dismas's head will be best suited on the Bounty Hunter, even though he is a little... He's a little fragile, I gotta say. And I'm kind of worried about that. But, whatever. I think I may even give him... Uh, oh, I thought we had a Damage Stone. No, we have the... That's right, the Warrior's Bracer, the melee skills. So we'll take this. I think I'm going to give the Bleed skill chance to you. And, uh, probably just bleed stone for the Jester as well. I think I'll throw the Ancestor's map on her. Who's got the highest trap disarm chance, though? Probably the Bounty Hunter, right? Jester's is actually pretty good. Let's give it to the Jester. That's probably better. So I obviously don't need to wor be worried about the extra stress that's going to give us. We'll do this. And Critical Dice is a pretty good option, too. Which means I could probably put the, uh... Wait, who has the other bleed stone right now? Nobody. Let's give it to him. That works. And then... Oh, he's got bloody dice, though. Well, yeah, we're gonna do that, obviously. And then how about we just go ahead and give him both the dice, then, and then we'll throw the Ancestor's map on her, plus the Solar Crown. That's pretty good. You don't know about this lineup? I think it's gonna work. I think you underestimate... Like, if you haven't seen the Flagellant yet, trust me. Flagellant is OP as fuck right now. Flagellant is so good. What are my Flagellant skills? I'm rocking the two, um... I'm rocking the two super-powered ones, the uh, Redeem and Exsanguinate. I've been swapping, actually, quite often between Suffer, Endure, and Reclaim. And I can't decide what is best. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be using Endure this time because I have a Jester. But Suffer is often really useful, and I often don't have it, and I, instead I have Reclaim. I think I'm going to go ahead and swap those two this time around. I want to see if I'm, I uh, benefit more from having that available. And, uh, let's go ahead and upgrade everybody here as well. I'm not gonna be able to, uh, don't say it's OP, they'll nerf him. Nah, I think, I think at this point, like, based on my experience so far, he, he has been, he has been a beast. And I've yet to really see, like, he's dealt damage to my party and stuff, and that sort of sucks, but... Otherwise, he's really not experienced a lot of drawbacks, either. It's all been pretty solid. We'll unlock Caltrips this time as well. Ooh, yeah, look at this. Like that new art for that too. It's cool. 
Uh, we don't need a mark this time. I think I'll, yeah, I'll have the uppercut and then let's keep these four. This is probably pretty good. Might as well upgrade the finish him as well to get the extra little bit of uh, base accuracy. Sounds good. Hey, Kalpo, welcome. Uh, Robin, I'm not ex actually sure how I'm going to do it. I think I'll uh, stick with this stream schedule for the first week or so, and then we'll uh, maybe swap back to the evenings after we've gotten through the initial hype wave. He can't... Oh, that's right, he can't uppercut. Yeah, because he's in spot... No, he can. What are you saying? He's in spot two. He's good. No, no, no. Can you try putting two flagellants together really fast? Uh, yeah, sure. I can't. I am not allowed. Apparently. Yeah, I just... I straight up can't even grab him. That's weird. Is that because... No, he is... He's level two. He should be able to do that. So if I take this guy off and put this guy on... Yeah, huh. Interesting. So you can only have one per party. Well, yeah, rip the, uh, four flagellant team, huh? No dice. Well, actually, we have a lot of dice. Bloody dice, in fact. Okay. He's stress eater as well, but luckily we'll be able to, uh, reduce that. Lots of bleed, man. I'm, I'm liking it. Pretty cool synergy here. I doubt I'll use the festering vapors, but I guess it's probably worth keeping anyway. Okay. Let's let's do it, man. Let's go gather some grain sacks. We do have We do have the uh, the curse coming along for the ride, unfortunately. I'll grab some extra food this time as well. It's the warrens for the extra couple of torches. We'll do these again. Couple of herbs. Actually bring keys this time, and then shovels. Yeah. Alright, cool. Throw those at the end here. Alrighty, let's do it. Mm-hmm. You like these streaming hours. Good to hear it, Michelin. Penance must be served without company. Even the fiercest beast will lay down when it is not eaten. Steal their food. Steal their food. That's still my favorite. He says it with such malice. Steal their food. Oh, he's craving. The blood lost. That's a fine start. 50%, I mean, I probably should go ahead and let her do it. Nah, you haven't missed it yet, Torrent. We may, we may get there today, though. This is nice and easy. I've actually been enjoying these uh, stream times as well. I'm glad, glad to hear y'all are digging it. It's certainly much more manageable for me. I may even be inclined to do this more often in the future. Am I merely a vessel for blood? That is a morbid take on things. Good start. How about the, uh, the finish? Good shit. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Please, please, be my guest. Bleed him. No? All right. Uh, we will... Well, I mean, I don't think we actually have to do that anymore. And she's hitting for six damage? My god. Even those nervous stabs. Barry, you don't need to bring 12 blood thingies for one short run. Why not, though? Is there really a reason not to bring it when it stacks up to 12? It seems like there's... There's more safety in that, right? Unless, I don't know, maybe he's affected by how much blood we have in our arsenal? Lord Echo! Blood for the bear god. Thanks for the 100 bits, buddy. Appreciate it. They're both dead, but I could try to reduce some stress, I guess. As the fiend falls... Yay! A faint hope blossoms. Yay! Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates oh, come on. dizzying fall. God damn it. That's a negative quirk. He's already got so many. Quirk reinforced? Fuck. Oh, that's probably bloodthirsty, wasn't it? Oh, I suppose that is true that if I were to find more blood in here, then I'd have to start a new stack of it. So maybe we should only bring like... What, ten? 
if you plan to use all of it by the end, you get an additional empty slot for... Ah, uh, that's... yeah. Better inventory management, I suppose. That's a fair argument. This, this jester is a mess. You're not wrong. He's not feeling too great. Quickly explain why Flagellant should be afflicted. Yeah, so the Flagellant has a new um, affliction that is exclusive to him called Rapturous. And Rapturous, believe it or not, is like a buff, basically. You do have a trade-off of, like, speed and dodge, I think. Or no, you gain speed, lose more or less all of your dodge, but your, uh, your damage is heavily boosted. The thing about the Flagellant, though, is you don't really care if your dodge is lacking, because you want him to get hit. That's why we have the Antiquarian with this party, because we're going to use Protect Me all the time in order to focus the damage on him, because he becomes stronger when he gets hit more. He's only able to use two of his skills when he's below 50% health. These two, which are his strongest by far, so... That's sort of the, uh, sort of the strategy there. Alright, there's one down. Oh, not quite, actually. Shit. I guess that'll happen sometimes, too, though, won't it? Fuck. Let's see, only for two. I can throw Caltrips in the back. Is that really helping us out all that much, though? I think I'm probably a lot better off just taking the damage here. Let's get you. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Hey, Def. No, I haven't heard him yet. You met the Fanatic already. Figured out how set bonuses in the courtyard's trinkets work. Uh, no to both, actually. Unnerved. Unbalanced. See that right there? Normally terrifying. With the Flagellant, it's actually good news. Bleed for us, yes! <laughs> uh, I should stress you a little bit, though. He's getting pretty high up there already. Gotta prevent those heart attacks. Although, weirdly enough, the heart attack is also really not that bad for him. Oh, he's gonna do the, uh... Okay, that's... You know, I mean... Is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. There, I suppose, is another bit of trade-off with the uh, rapturous affliction as well as the fact that... Quite a few times, actually, he has prevented us from doing what we wanted to do, so... Perhaps we may be better off... God damn it, we may be better off... ...bringing him back down to zero at some point, but I'm okay with keeping him rapturous for now. I don't think it's really hurting us all that much. Even if he... even if he chooses his own actions exclusively... ...he normally, when he's below 50% health, will choose the two that are stronger. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. So it's not like he's really fucking himself over when he does things like that. It's just... It's less ideal, right? Which is totally fine. This Protect Me is just such a great combo. And that is definitely not what we want, but the dodge is more than welcome too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, uh, I guess just stab, right? Yeah. Alefiend, hey, buddy. Stack enough bleed? Yep. Nice. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Alrighty. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. We did get another bleed stone from that. I don't know if I really want to trade off anything for it, though. Really enough, we don't have extra trinket slots anymore. Oh, God. Um, This blood really creates some inventory problems, doesn't it? I think it's got to be the 100 gold for now. And then I'm going to be hopefully using either one of these two. A fortune waiting to be spent. Don't really need an extra shovel. We're looking for quest locations right now as well. We do have one there. Oh, they're all right here. Okay, cool. Drink the bleed stone. Perfect. Oh, God, right. And I'm going to have to make space for this shit, too. If only treasure could staunch the flow of uh, otherworldly corruption. And that's all going to show up, like, right here. <laughs> this is going to be so inconvenient, man. Wealth beyond measure. Yeah. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. All right, well... There's our throwaway options, I guess. I think that the implication of the flagellant sitting pose at the campfire is actually dying... drying his wounds. Ah. Flagellants tend to open up many small lacerations on their back, and it was common practice to try to dry out wounds with the heat of fire. That's cool. 
A little bit more fitting lore for him. Nice. No, it doesn't look like they stack now. I was sort of secretly holding out hope that they had taken that nod from Pitch Black Dungeon as well and allowed those quest items to stack, but... Doesn't look like it. I'm wondering if they're aware of, like, whether or not they want to... Like, okay, hold on. Let me rephrase that. I wonder if they're considering that possibility of changing it to be that way. I really hope they are, because it just makes it better, I think. Certainly makes it easier. But it makes sense, too. Like, you can stack everything else. Why wouldn't you be able to stack that stuff? Maybe it's too big, I suppose, could be the argument you'd make, but... I don't know. It just keeps missing the attacks. Like, I want him to take damage. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. It's totally ridiculous now. Who's the man in the front? That's the Flagellant. That's the new character class. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Who is carrying our asses to sweet, sweet victory every goddamn mission. Oh, I gotta get rid of the bleed stone for the portraits, man. I need these heirlooms, but I could also get rid of this for food, I suppose. Soothed. I guess we could do that, too. It's not a terrible idea, and I really don't need to go this way at all. Welcome to the Bear Pile. The Arcani! Welcome to the Bear Pile. Thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome on in. Thank you for the support. Appreciate it. I think I just go over here, get this quest item, and then maybe camp out Gathering real quick. Gold, trinkets, and baubles. Paid for in blood. And then I can just bounce. I, I don't really have a reason to stick around in here apart from there being an antiquarian and me being able to get a whole bunch of money for very little risk. A decisive public. But you know, apart from that obvious choice, no real reason to stick around, right? Ralpha, it's going good. Going very, very good today. Having a good start. Lobster, lobster, welcome. Elise is the real hero. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Very true. Very true, that is. It's almost time to get rid of torches and shovels, so I'm not thinking I need to be too worried about the inventory. Oh, the double harvest crit. Big money. Arakash has actually managed to dodge a hell of a lot despite a lowered stat. Oh, baby. Quest items not stacking is actually more of an annoyance than an inventory management challenge at this point. I appreciate the option to allow them to stack at least. Yeah, me too, man. I am with you. I think it'd be better off, but it's also not that big of a deal. Got a live bear, Toxaf. How you doing? Thanks for coming. You're not targeting the right guy. I'm gonna go ahead and suffer. I've been waiting for an opportunity to take a bleed from someone. Come on now, there we go. Zero damage, perfect. Oh, diseased. Shit. Ah, uh, you know, the harvest is way too good not to do here. So much bleed potential, and I really want to kill him as well, but I think I'll allow the bounty hunter to finish him off, or maybe even the antiquarian stab would probably do the job. Almost. Almost. Ooh, we could do that for fun, but not really necessary. I am playing this poorly. I could have easily used the flagellant on him. That would have been way better. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and suffer. Yeah, that's... that's... It's not unusual territory for me in this game, is it? I'll just go ahead and take this opportunity to suffer endlessly. Sounds like fun. Okay, quick little heal. Sir, do you want to use these, uh, or the quest items you got in the Throbbing Cocoon for the courtyard? These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. You want to burn it with fire, buddy. That's what you want to do. Okay, well, I mean, I've got to make inventory space for this fucking quest item, so I don't know what the hell I'm going to dump off get the ruby in here. Dark fellow. If I could sub, I would, so I suppose that's what I have to do. Thank you very much, buddy, for the bits. Appreciate it. For the kind words, too. As the light gains purchase, All right. spirits are lifted. 
and purpose is made clear. I wish I could have that portrait as well, but I seriously doubt I'm going to be able to hold on to it. What if I get rid of the keys now? Is that smart? Hmm. Well, I am going to camp, so I guess I might as well do that. And then we'll go over to the right side. I've got a couple more curios here as well. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Hmm. I don't really have a lot of stress reduction either. I could do mockery. Let me try this. Always refuses it, man. I guess that's probably why I don't want to keep him afflicted all the time, so he doesn't refuse every sort of camping treatment I offer him. I think I'll just go ahead and do mockery on him. So it makes a lot of sense. And then, I guess encourage? I don't really know what else to do. I do not- I don't have great camping skills with this group, I'm now realizing. This is... This is pretty severely lacking. Yeah, that's a pretty recent upgrade, actually. What you can do there is, uh... While a menu is up, you can right-click and camp in the same room in order to clear inventory space that way. I'm really glad they allow you to do that now. Oh, boy. Well... This obviously sucks. But... What can we do? I can encourage, I guess. I might as well do that and go ahead and try to reduce a little bit on there. Never mind! Alright! Cool. I built one district. I have built one district, and that is the, uh, the Puppet Theater. Which I think is gonna... help us out quite a bit, actually. Come on. Come on, now. Paradox Inferno! Love you and your vids there. Keep up the awesome work. Sneaking in some DD before work. Awesome, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for the bits. Oh, that's no good. That's not the kind of enemy we want to see. None of the backline, in fact. This just... Till these two decide to target him, which they have started off with, which I appreciate. This team just totally sucks for us. Clarity! It's gonna target you, right? Nope. Oh, nice. Gives me the turn, actually. Sweet. Not enough, unfortunately. So close, though. Um... What is actually my best play here? Still probably the Harvest. Later on, Robin. Why couldn't I have been you? Batman. I wish. I only wish. I would have had the chance to show my true colors with that character. And die. Yay, Triumph! Punish me, Daddy. LGW lewd. That, that face. That LGW lewd face. That wolf appears to be enjoying... Some great pleasure. I don't know how much more I want to say on the matter. Ah! Don't do that! Not yet, Durandale. Not yet. I mean, sure. Heal for one. Mmm, caltrips. Yeah, hey, look at that! Need new animation. That is a massive speed reduction, actually. I didn't realize... That's probably, like, the biggest benefit to that, isn't it? The fact that you almost certainly will be acting ahead of this character now. That is pretty sweet. That's a totally usable skill. The blood! Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Yeah, that debuff is significant enough to be worth it. That's cool. We tangled with some unruly louts. Raven called them cultists. They were ferocious but clumsy. Interesting. Very interesting. Stacked speed reduction is like a budget stun. Yeah, that makes sense. Said Bear for the 29th time realizing debuff skills are good. <laughs> There's still not a top priority, though, man. You gotta, you gotta be with me on that. 
I think so many things take priority over debuffing the enemy, unless the, the enemy happens to be a big tanky beast like a pig champion or a giant crab. Uka Savage. Then you gotta be looking at some debuff options, but... Ooh, here we go. Speaking of options, ours have opened up. Oh, baby, Arakash. How are you dodging anything? You have, like, two dodge. Yeah, let's go ahead and reduce his speed and maybe be able to kill him first. Thanks, who made what? Appreciate that. Today you broke your favorite glass. I'm sorry, Angelo. Rip, Angelo's favorite glass. Hardly knew ye. Yeah, fine. That'll work. That might work. You know what? I bet it'll, I bet it'll totally help us out here. It's gonna be wonderful, and I'm gonna do that. Nine damage, six damage from bleed, and a massive heal. He does debuff himself, but all the same, that is just... So fucking good, man. God, I love the flagellant. Yeah, the animation's really cool as well. I love those... I love those badass moves from him. Okay, this may be the dumbest question in the world, but is Bear Taffy and Rob the same person? <laughs> Yes! Yes, we are! You finally figured it out, huh? You finally put the pieces together. While being a 27-year-old married man in Washington, in the Pacific Northwest, I am simultaneously a 25-year-old man living in New York City this momentum push on to the tasks and running two separate simultaneous twitch streams isn't he live right now uh hold on a second i might have to uh, god damn it i keep having to do this i want those crests too i really do want those crests how greedy do i feel like being what if i were to like eat all this Sedated. Take those. Check to see if I get food from here. Everything's been eaten already. I should go. I should go right now and not risk a hunger tile, but I'm not. I'm not going to, because I'm a big... Damn it! Damn it! The force of will can overcome a failing body. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it! Worth it! Five five hundred gold in a minor antique. I got a thousand gold for it. These foodstuffs yield double benefit. The town may eat, and the swine will not. And look, we're gonna get plenty more food when we get back too. It's a bumper crop. This is all planned. We had it all sorted out. You don't need to worry about it. We're gonna be fine. Food is for the weak. No, we got food for the weak, dork fellow. You you misinterpreted. W-E-E-K. Quick reflexes on air cash. All right. And nocturnal release. I may commit him. I might. I might. A modest offering from those few surrounding farms as yet untouched by the spreading calamity. Mm-hmm. All right. Feeling pretty good now. Oh, did I have keys? Did I have keys I could have gotten rid of? I didn't even think about that. Hi, Jubs. Hi, buddy. What you doing? You bored? Mama's not here and Dad's just sitting on his computer, so you're bored? Yeah? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I gotta talk to these people on the internet. Okay? He's, he's giving me a very sad look. Very sad eyes. Now he's just slowly meandering over to his blanket on the floor. Oh. Oh, this poor thing. Doggo. I'm breaking his heart, y'all. This is the sacrifice we're making here to play more Crimson Court. This poor dog. 
You just can't handle it. <laughs> we have time, Dr. <laughs> no, Bear, we can wait. You stop the stream right now. You play with that poor puppy. That poor sad boy. Don't you dare withhold love from him. Pagan talisman. Oh, snap. Exclusively bonus damage versus the fanatic. Whoa. That's an interesting trinket. That's a reward for killing the swine prince. That is, oh, uh, wow. Hi, Elise. Are you, you're not home, are you? Are you on your, you must be on your phone. A magnanimous dispensation. Yeah, mom, amazingly. Aren't those farmers in the estate a reference to something? I feel like I recognize them. Yeah, that must be a reference to that painting, huh? Mm-hmm. I don't remember what it's called, but that's a famous painting of the farmers. I haven't fought the fanatic yet. No, I haven't run into him yet. A clever name. Here's a quarter. Now go pet the dog. I'll work break right on, babe. I gave him a pet. I gave him a pet. He's okay. He'll live. Well, we do need deeds. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily go fight the swine prince yet. I would still very much like to put together some sort of mark party for that. Uh, I'm still going to leave my rapturous flagellants as they are. American Gothic, that's right. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was something like that. I was going to say Gothic wedding, but that makes no sense. Uh, yeah? Low infestation? Hey, Spring Duck! The blood on the characters means that they've been inflicted by the Crimson Curse. Which comes as a result of running into some of these enemies from the courtyard who have now also infested the other areas of the, uh, of the estate. So going into the ruins then, I think our Crusader is probably a viable option. Let's go ahead and throw Robin up there with his rabies, so we're probably going to have to give him some accuracy bonuses if I can manage it. God-fearing. Oh, he has still a kleptomaniac, too. That does suck. And he's got Satanophobia. This... He's a terrible Crusader. You're a bad person. Don't do... Don't be this way. Why are you the way you are? He's a ruins explorer, though. Go to the courtyard. Can't go to the courtyard yet. This is an epic veteran level. I'm not I'm not gonna be going in here until I've got some really strong veteran level folks. Mmm boy, oh boy. What's the item from the courtyard quest? That is the sharpened letter opener. Which is a uh, crimson court set trinket, it seems, and then Baron's Lash Trophy as well. Gives us bonuses uh, with the Crimson Curse. Pretty much just vampirism baked, yeah, more or less. Hmm. I like crusading, but I'm afraid of God. Well, you know, I won't I won't fault him too much for having the fear of God in his heart, but to be this afraid of Satan, that's not you're you're not a strong warrior of the light as you so claim to be, if you shirk in the eyes of of the devil. You gotta be willing to stand up for that fight, man. You gotta you gotta Hold steadfast, hold resolute. Now let's see here. Let's go ahead. I know I've got a couple of Vestals that do have these uh, melee skills unlocked already. And then, wow, look at John Rebel. Rank two Vestal John Rebel? Maybe? See you later, Elise. Love you. Played in the courtyard and got wrecked by the croc. Hell yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too, you're not alone. I could do the Grave Robber again. With this composition. Religious composition, I mean, we could try it. You want to throw the Flagellant in there again? I mean, why not? We don't even need to have her in that spot. We could do this. And then, oh god, we could actually... We could actually use Chant and Pray! And they'd be effective! That Vestal, that Vestal is jacked though. I mean, she's got some good melee bonuses. So I almost want to put her in spot two. And we also don't have a fourth person 
for this lineup, unfortunately. I mean, it could be Leper. We'd have to do, like... Something like that, though. Which is pretty bad. In fact, I'm pretty sure the uh, the Flagellant is not really even capable of doing much from spot three. Yeah. He can endure and suffer, and then he'd have to wait until he's down low to, uh, to be able to actually do anything else. Third line Flagellant is okay. Full-blown healer. He'd be reclaiming. He'd be enduring. He'd be suffering. He takes all the attention off everyone else, and then... When, ha when he has the chance... Well, he can only redeem. He can't even exsanguinate from the, s from the third spot. So that's... I kind of hate that. Yeah. A support flagellant? I don't think so. Not yet. Not yet, at least. So we are not... We're not going to do the fully religious lineup here. I think it's going to have to be... We remove the flagellant. These two could work, and then I could go ahead and throw relativistic in the back. Indestructible. Well, it's got a name. I mean, we have to use it now. She's a stress faster as well. This could work. Ruins Explorer, that's good. Two Ruins Explorers, in fact. Really good scouting chance here. We should probably unlock Holy Lance too, just in case. Actually, no, I like these. Hopefully I won't need the Holy Lance, but... It'd be pretty terrible if I got shuffled around, and my Arbalist has lowered resistance to move, so if I get pulled forward at all, that would be pretty terrible. But, uh, otherwise... This is probably pretty damn good. I've got to unlock her other skills, so we'll go do that. How did they buff Bulwark of Faith? They made it so you can only use it once per turn, but or once per uh, battle. But they give you plus 20 torch and plus 25% protection for the whole fight. Which is pretty dope. Blacksmith will upgrade everything here. I can't quite get to rank two, can I? No, I still need both the deeds and the uh, and the crest for that. We can do all these, which are quite good. Welcome to the bear pile. Night thirty-two, thirty-two. Welcome to the bear pile, buddy. Thanks for the subscription. Appreciate it. Thanks for that four ninety-nine sub. Welcome to the pile. Thank you. Done, done, and done. And then, of course, Crusader. Give him a few upgrades here, too. More stress healing is always nice as well. Thanks for the raising the uh, bear hugs up as well. Getting them all nice and cozy, the newest members. Thank you. Tried putting someone with a Crimson Curse in the sanctuary in the sanitarium to see if you can actually remove the curse. I tried it. Yeah, Moseman. Doesn't work. No dice. All right. Finally, Trinket time. Definitely going to be using Dismiss's head on him. Well, hold on, actually. Oh, the disease. The curse is lowering his max health. I didn't even notice that. More speed, though, which is good on the leper. We'll give him this as well. So he's hitting pretty damn hard up there. And now the Crusader can use the Swordsman's Crest. Obviously a great option. Defender Seal. Not a bad choice for him. If only I could use both of those. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Jaeger Bombastic! Welcome to the Bear Pile, Jaeger. Thank you very much for the subscription as well. Appreciate it. Enjoy your badge and emotes, buddy. All right, is this going to do it? Book of Rage is not really going to work here. I think I'll go ahead and throw the Ancestor's Map onto my Arbalist. And nobody else really needs anything, right? I guess Disease Resist is probably maybe kind of worth it. We'll try that out. All right, cool. You just beat the crocodile of the day two area. I am loving the Crimson Court, man. It's everything I wanted it to be. I'm so thrilled with it. All right. I think we're ready. Let's go ruins. Let's do it. A magnanimous dispensation. Ale fiend for the Chubbs Rawhide Bone Fund. That always needs replenishing. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Thanks for the tip. And thanks for the free provisions. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Waifu Yui. Welcome to the Bear Pile as well. Thank you for the subscription with Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. Welcome on into the pile. Flare, do you have it? I do. You think I should equip it? Clear the stuns and the marks? 
I probably don't need it. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm also just double checking to make sure there's nothing I really want to give her, and I don't think I do, yeah. I can do that. You know what? I'll do that. Yeah, four health is probably worth more than one speed. Alright. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot the blood! Oh, I forgot the blood. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Uh-oh. Now, Oren. Oops. Thanks, thanks for the bits. I forgot to bring blood. And he's craving blood. That's not good. That's not good at all. Well, what happens now? He's already craving. Oh, fuck. I guess we'll find out. How you doing, pal? You're hurting a lot. I can see that. Maybe we'll find some blood. <laughs> maybe we'll just... Maybe we'll find some wandering around in here. Maybe some will drop. Let's... let's see. I don't know. I really have no idea what's gonna happen with this. It's... it's new to me now. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Alright. Nothing so far. Just a nice drip, drip, drip. I'm assuming... Maybe his debuffs will get worse and worse. Blood or riot! Hey, leper, buddy, you okay? <laughs> you doing okay, pal? Is there a reason to keep people with Crimson Curse? Seems like a huge liability, why not just get rid of them? We did get rid of a couple of them early on. But, I mean, there's some benefits to it. I mean, when you're- when you've activated the Bloodlust... It's quite powerful, so... I'm- I'm not 100% sure whether or not it's really worth it to keep him around yet. I don't know all the effects of it, and I'm not sure what to expect. I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like this either, man. I'm not feeling too good about your situation. Now I feel better. Slightly. A little bit. It's feeling okay. Decimated. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, we'll take it. And a smite for the one shot after the dodge? Come on, Robin. Obliterated. What the fuck? Executed with impunity. Yo, we got a waner on every single one of those. Good ratio. Alright. Exploring pretty well here, too. Not bad. Some trinkets give big buffs when cursed. Ah, yeah, there's that as well. Welcome to the bear. We've pile. seen a few of those, in fact, so I, I am uh, looking forward to maybe being able to take advantage of that. Tech slab. Welcome to the bear pile, buddy. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome on in, Tech Slam. Some bear hugs, please, if you wouldn't mind. Get them all in there. Nice and cozy to that. You got, a, you got a raging wainer right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. I've used, like, all of my torches already. Don't be a klepto! Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Damn it! Wait, what? What the fuck? Giveaway is starting. What giveaway? What the hell are you talking about, Twitch chat? Why the hell did that pop up? Twitch? Alright, well go ahead and type exclam giveaway in chat, apparently. We'll find out what's being given away. Let's ask Twitch what they're giving away on my channel. Oh, that's just somebody spamming. Oh, never mind. <laughs> It's a mystery! Not even I know what you're gonna get. Annihilate. But <laughs> why not? Let's do let's do a mystery giveaway. And then find out what Twitch decides you won. It'll be great. There's no actual giveaway, if that's not clear. This is all a joke. I have no idea what happened. 
<laughs> it's not real. I'm joking. I'm just kidding. Welcome to the bear pile. Han! 0987 trolled by the blood. Thank you, Han, for the Twitch Prime sub. I killed Chad. I'm sorry I killed Chad. Yeah, I didn't realize it was going to be that impactful. No, there has to be one. We all typed it. Ah, shit, you're right. That's how those work. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Tenji Misaki. Welcome to the Bear Pile as well. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, too. Destroy them Ignoramus, I am only a vessel for a giveaway. Nothing more. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> hey, I won! It's disappointment! Oh, wow! What a wonderful gift! Unnerved. Unbalanced. Enjoy the disappointment, Viridius. Or Meridius, sorry. Destroyed. Oh, great, great, great giveaway, man. I'm really, really glad this... This whole fake Twitch giveaway stuff is... Helping me boost the strength of the channel here. I won crippling depression. Oh boy. I got a rock. There's a Charlie Brown reference for you. Nice hip Charlie Brown reference. You're Veritas. That's right. Yeah, I remember. I remember, I remember the name there. Uh, die. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Yay! Don't need that. Don't need that. Need that though. A fortune waiting to be spent. All right. Well, so far he's just been dripping blood the whole time. So you know that's good. Really beginning to wonder if I should have brought a couple extra torches, but oh well. Oh god, is the ra dude, don't do the raffle now. Come on. Now we know what we know what the raffle's for. That one I at least have a good understanding of. Secrets. And all kinds of shit to dump off. Oh fuck. I I must please the blood. Wasting. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Yeah, we'll do that. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Uh, paid for in blood. Oh, I don't like it. Wasting doesn't sound good. Wasting sounds like I should address it. Uh-oh. Ah, shit. Ah, that's a Holy Lance opportunity. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna move him back, or move her back, rather. She only moved back one, though, right? Which means I might just have to, like, stress heal or something with the, with the Crusader here. Stress is certainly a big problem against these folks. Alright, I guess we're doing that. That is not a good move, man. Not a good option at all. Show us the wasting debuffs. It doesn't look like it's too much different. Like a little less health. Uh, I should probably go ahead and use one of these six bandages here, and then let's try to get a one-shot kill here too. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. There we go. Nice. Minus twenty percent max health is also pretty pretty damning. It's awful. Don't let me undersell it. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Yeah, the minus four speed is also pretty nasty. Uh, I should go ahead and move her back one more time and allow the Crusader to deal damage. Hopefully the Leper will finish him off. Don't knock him back. God damn it. Alright, we're just gonna group heal then. I shall surely perish of this thirst. Oh, goodness. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Oh, boy. This isn't good. This is not good. Red heal on you is nice, though. 
I think I'll try to heal. Oh, just a small taste. Oh, wow. That's not good. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Of war can be healed, but never hidden. All right. Oh, this sucks ass. Come on, Arbalist first. Arbalist first. Fucking hell. Uh, just do that, I guess. Give it. Gimme. 88%. You gotta hit this. The blood! These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, man. Sweet relief at last. The dream. The dream is real. Holy water? No effect. Oh, man. My thirst is quenched. I haven't seen him yet, remember? I'm really looking forward to it, though. That interaction with the fanatic. I really want to see it, man. Ah, uh, it's probably time to start thinking of dumping stuff off. Maybe the protection stone? I really don't need more of those. Probably gonna get rid of that blight stone, too. We, of course, have that secret room right there, and I might even have to camp out before we do that, and I've got plenty of food for after the fact. Camping out makes a lot of sense right now, too. We could actually reduce tons of stress that way. Okay, judgment makes the most sense for sure. Delicious, delicious blood. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Curse doesn't seem that good. Curse is... yeah, it's a... It's certainly interesting, man. I really don't know how I feel about it still. I'm also not sure if there's actually a way to get rid of it. So it's all kind of still up in the air. We may not hear it today still, Cooper. I was thinking we would, but we may not hear it today. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. We've still got a ways to go today, though, so it's... It's possible. I live in Washington. You know. Murder! I need some heals, too. This campfire is going to be well-timed. Hey, Scarface, welcome. I'm going to take a, uh... I'm going to take a short recess after this run, and then we'll, uh, I'll see how much longer I've got to go today. Maybe get a better approximation of how long I'll be able to do, or, uh, when we should expect to, uh, to see my appearances. Do, 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 uh, yeah, I think I could go ahead and try that. Do, 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 do. One more stress heal, too. I think I can probably get away with it. Doing better, kitten. Doing better. I'm trying to pace myself a little bit more today, too. I'm not usually one for the five-hour streams or longer than that, so... As victories mount, so too will resist. Having to, uh, having to train myself not to go all in on the first two hours. Uh, how about... Yeah, I think it's time to get rid of the Blightstone, and then... Probably time to camp out now as well. We could just go ahead and go into the secret room and camp there as well. That way we get more torchlight, too. Huddled together. Oh, he's a stress eater. Furtive and vulnerable. Yep. Rats in a maze. All right, quarantine is fantastic. Zealous speech is pretty damn good as well here. Might want to take that. Do I have encourage as well? I've got sanctuary. If I want to try to prevent the ambush, although that doesn't really benefit me much more besides that. Kind of wish he had his ambush prevention. That'd be zealous vigil, which is a little bit better. Let's ruin Bear's voice by reminding him Shadow of the Colossus is being remade. It's, <laughs> it's so exciting, man. I'm so pumped. I could restring Crossbow. I'm mostly concerned about, uh... Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna take Sanctuary. Let's just be, be safe. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Here we go. Give me Junia's head. Barristan's head. 
Oh! They did change this, though. Wow, that's actually usable. Yeah, that's not bad now. Cool. Well, that's exciting. And uh, let's just go ahead and use our holy waters here. Obviously not on the actual uh, Crimson Curse Feller. We can get rid of those. There we are. Yeah, it's not... Yeah, 13 to 20 is a pretty significant difference. It's not bad now. They are sleeping. I am kept from slumber by a distinct stream of whispers, as if carried by the currents and waves of the sea. I have not told them that most of my flesh is slot off, revealing a strange silvery membrane I keep myself covered. They questioned me when I ate the meat raw at campfall, and found my response difficult to understand. I suppose it would be best to explain my condition when they awaken. Then they would be convinced of my urgency to leave, and find aid in the hamlet. Is this talking about the curse, I wonder? That's kind of cool. I assume there would be new uh, journal pages for the uh, DLC as well. Lost some folks to the curse, Tin Hat. Oh, snap. Douse the vampire in holy, holy water, right? No, I did try that already. That didn't work out so well for me. That's an old journal? Okay. Mmm, leaving both of them at one hit point. Brilliant move, Leper. Back to the pit. Yes! I'm gonna take my small heal here. I'm gonna get super greedy with this. So our stress is nearly eliminated. Be gone, fiend. That's better. In Radiance, may we find victory. And then we may even go for a pretty much full clear here, actually. This is a pretty simple dungeon so far. It hasn't been much, uh, to deal with, so... I might want to do it. Let's get rid of the herbs, too. I think I can take the citrine here. Don't need the disease charm, though, obviously. Look at these two trinkets now, man. Our leper's feeling good. The one HP curse will follow you through even in the DLC. It seems that way, right? Seems almost like the people are turning into the fish. Or maybe they came from them, considering there seemed to be an entry of a fish killing the people because his friend turned into a human. Huh. That's what you fucking get, Robin Ebra. That is what you fucking get for taking every goddamn curio. Leave some for us, you selfish ass. Hey, Raj. Picked up the full set of We're Falling Apart for the Flagellant. Just gonna say it's amazing. That sounds fun. Sounds like a trinket set. Good old Reynald. Classic thieving Reynald. Heroes may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Fire is thieving ass. You gotta give folks more than one chance. Well, more than five, I guess, in his case. I embrace the darkness. Send me thine fiends from the Eternal Pit. It's heavily implied that in the game that the fishmen are transformed from people, because it's a reference to Shadow of Innsmouth, an H.P. Lovecraft story about a town of people who became fish people as they got older. Interesting. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Well, I wouldn't doubt it then. Get it. I saw that 7 out of 15 with 8 health remaining, and I was so sure. I was so sure we're going to leave him with 1, but no. Lucky enough that time. There we go. Same story. 4 to 9, 5 health left. You gotta assume, right? Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Slippery boots might be better than the redemption armlet. I'm going to do that. And then get rid of the anti-venom for the stack of gold. I can get rid of the shovels now, too, I guess. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then the journal page is nothing. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That'll work. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Yay! I was totally expecting to see uh, something a little more complica complicated. 
near the end of the dungeon here, but I'm more than happy not to have to deal with that. All right, physical damage is also no longer a threat, so it's got to be her. A decisive pummeling. That'll work. Might even just stress heal too. I'm pretty damn sure I can get away with uh, leaving the leopard to deal with the remainder here. Hey, dry punishment. Welcome. Fat stacks of loot today. Yes, sir. We're getting rich. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Why not? A little torchlight, too. That's nice. Makes things a little better for me, anyway. Crit! Powerful blow. Nice. No crit. This is voice commands that I've uh, integrated into the game here. I don't know if you noticed. A momentary abatement. Feeling pretty good. Uh, I'm going to self-heal. Super cheese, man. Let's do it. Stress heal on the Crusader and go ahead and let somebody else finish him off. When you're sitting through, sifting through dungeons, do you prioritize taking money rewards even though any extra items paid are refunded? Uh, I'd say so. Yeah, it's, it's pretty situational, Mobster Lobster. Tough to say in just like a general sense that that's the case, but... Oh god, he's got the craving again. But like, unless you're getting an uncommon or better trinket, you're probably better off getting the stack of gold or whatever jewelry you've got. Brought low and driven into the mud. Whatever gems you found. Heirlooms obviously are good to, good to prioritize as well. Uh, probably don't need this anymore. I definitely don't need that anymore. And, uh, fuck. It's gonna be one of these two, isn't it? I want the deeds real bad. I can get rid of the citrine for now. I think two deeds are actually worth more than 750 gold to me at this point. I'm gonna push my luck here to get to this last curio. Darkness closes in. Haunting the hearts of men. Probably a hunger tile, right? No? Okay. Just needed a second to load up. Well, I walked here. Nice! Well, that's good. Cool. Full clear, baby. Besides that. But, that'll work. The shifted corridors and sloped walls of our ancestry are beginning to feel familiar. Not bad. About 18,000 gold out of that. Good amount of heirlooms as well. Probably enough to get another rank of the, uh... To the bear pile. Weapons or Armorsmith as well. Amply seasoned! Welcome to the bear pile, buddy. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Enjoy your badge and emotes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pretty good quirks, too. Good result. Good, good result. Surplus. A rare and wonderful thing. Surplus. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Quick stagecoach check just in case. I'm looking for a Houndmaster primarily. All right. That's going to do it for, uh, for this first session here, y'all. Not done streaming yet today, of course. I'm going to be uh, coming back after just a few minutes of break here. Going to go refill my water, grab myself a tasty, delicious Madrina's coffee. Welcome to the bear pile. Glogalore, thank you very much for the subscription. Go ahead and ban that person who's spamming that shit in my chat, please. Thank you. Glogalore. Welcome on into the bear pile. Thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate it. Welcome on in. Enjoy your badge and emotes. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I'll be back in just a few minutes for plenty more of the Crimson Court after I grab myself a tasty Madrinas. And you can go get yourself a Madrinas coffee over on uh, madrinascoffee.com shop and use the code bearcoffee for 40% off. I'll be back in a few. Hold tight.